I'm Doug. Welcome to Backcountry Pilgrim, a channel all about hiking, camping, backpacking, and the gear that goes with it. Today I want to talk to you about turning one of these into one of these. In another video, I talk about the pluses and minuses of using a hydration bladder system versus a hydration bottle system. Bladders can be very convenient, especially on a day hike where you have everything you're gonna need to drink that day in one place, and all you've got is that nice little tube hanging over your pack that you can get to very easily. You don't have to chicken wing your arms to get bottles out of side pockets, but they have their downfalls. For one thing, hydration bladders are a pain to refill, especially if you have them packed on the inside of a backpack. It's also very difficult to know where you are with your fluid levels because it's inside your pack and you can't see the water level. Further, hydration bladders can be a pain to clean and dry out properly, and so they just turn into kind of an inefficient mess if you're going to be out for more than one day at a time. For years now, many hikers have switched to water bottles, some kind of smart water bottle or some other brand that is lightweight reusable, and fairly convenient given many of the new pieces of gear out on the market to help support water bottle usage. I will link to some of those at the end of this video as well. Now, the water bottle basically overcomes pretty much all of the major problems that you have with a hydration bladder, except that it isn't quite as convenient to get to your drink. Now, my current backpacking setup includes a front strap pocket where I keep my smart water bottle, and it's not that big of a deal to pull the bottle out and take a drink and get it back in, but it is still a couple of additional steps, and it can be a minor psychological or even sometimes physical barrier to staying hydrated if you have to mess around with your water bottle in order to take a drink. Well, that's where the one bottle system comes in. The one bottle system consists of a pretty typical hydration hose, like something you'd get with a camelback bladder or something like that. The end of the hose is cut off from whatever attachment it came with to attach to its bladder, and this is simply placed inside the water bottle. Once the hose is inside the water bottle, this cap screws onto the bottle effectively transforming the system into one that is bottle-based rather than bladder-based. One Bottle was kind enough to send me one of their 3D printed prototypes, and then I got one of the real deals in the mail later. The system works pretty much exactly as advertised. I mean, basically, as long as you've got a good cap that holds the hose in place, but also seals the system, this is going to work just fine, and the One Bottle system does that. You put the bottle wherever you would normally keep it, you route the hose around to wherever you like it to be, and it works just like a hydration bladder, except that now you have easier access to the bottle, easier refill, easier cleaning, etc. The system performed very well. I only had one issue, and it was actually my fault for not reading the directions, and that is because when I tried to adjust the hose length inside the bottle, it actually popped this little grommet out, which holds the hose in place and seals the system. Now, had I read the instructions, I would have known that you're supposed to put cold water on the hose before you try to move it, because obviously, in order to seal the system, the seal has to be pretty tight, and so if you just take the hose and pull on it, it's going to pull that grommet out. However, if you do as instructed and run cold water over the hose, it detaches that seal momentarily until it dries back up, and that allows you to set the system up perfectly to the kind of bottle you use. One Bottle also makes a system that is designed to work with a large mouth bottle like one of these Nalgene's. You put that on as a replacement to your main cap, and then this top comes off, and the adapter fits inside here, effectively transforming this into a bladder type system. There's also this cool hose clamp which goes on your backpack strap, and it actually rotates depending on the size of the strap you need. It will work either way. I also got a pair of accessory caps with little lanyards on them to keep them attached, and there was also the standard drink valve that goes on a smart water bottle that you usually have to buy separately on a 750 milliliter bottle and then move over onto the one liter bottle. So overall, I am very impressed with the one bottle system. It works, it's simple, and if you follow instructions, it is pretty easy to use. I have a link to the One Bottle Company in the description of the video below. I hope you will check them out and check out these other videos that have to do with your hydration system as well. And until next time, I'm Doug. Thanks for watching. Hey.